probably seen a lot of cases of measles, but when measles was at its peak, they used to say about one kid per every thousand got permanently injured neurologically to the point that they were probably put in some institution. Is that, that true? That's absolutely correct. And I remember getting measles, and if I had known that at the time, or someone told me that, I think I would have been a very anxious eight or nine-year-old boy. Uh, but yes, we certainly even now we'll see patients that have measles mostly from other countries, um, and patients with measles that have major brain damage from the measles. And that was a very common thing. A lot, every, Pretty much everyone knew 30 years ago someone that was related or a friend who had a, a brother that was retarded in an institution from measles. So measles was a real scourge. And uh, unfortunately, measles has come back a little bit because some people aren't vaccinating. But there's no question that the advent of measles vaccines uh, have stopped one in a thousand people from being devastated. So in other words, there would be estimation by a pretty good, reliable source if we didn't have the vaccine, we'd probably get 4 million cases of measles. That means 4,000 additional retarded kids from that particular disease. That would outweigh any concerns about things like autism or other diseases that are in the news today. Is that correct? Well, I mean, I think the way you've got to look at it, there's really not a whole lot of evidence that mercury... Uh, causes autism, in the, in, in the, at least in the issue of the, of the vaccines, uh, and there's strong evidence that measles causes mental retardation at a very high rate. Um, so I think, you know, the, the you should vaccinate in terms of measles, mumps, and rubella, and I think it's pretty clear, um, and uh, I think the data is overwhelming at this point, and that's all we've got. I actually lose money vaccinating as a pediatrician because I get paid back virtually what I give it for, and it's always a denial and insurance claim, yet I don't think about how I'm getting paid or I think it should get vaccination to a child, just do it. And that's the case of most pediatricians. We're trying to find a way around it, but right now it's a situation. And we're fathers and we're grandfathers, we're brothers and sisters. We really wouldn't vaccinate a kid just because we thought the drug companies wanted us to do it. It's because it makes a lot of sense. Is that true? Well, again, I'm not. A, I'm a pediatric neurologist, but as I understand it, there's. Uh, it's very hard for pediatricians to give vaccinations from a financial point of view and maintain the vaccines and maintain them in the office. And it's a, at best a zero sum game, or you might lose money. And so I don't think any pediatrician in the U.S. is making money off vaccinations. So I think there's absolutely no financial incentive right now. In fact, it's a negative financial incentive to give vaccinations. Um, uh, so I, I, I think that most pediatricians are giving vaccinations. Yes because they think it uh, does help. 